All right, so this is some um, very much to be expected just based on where things have been headed lately, but very disturbing news. This came out a few days ago. Florida lawmaker calls for eradication of LGBTQ plus community. Says, damn right, we, won't, we ought to do it. Florida Republican lawmaker Randy Fine has appeared to call for the eradication of all queer people while defending his drag ban bill. Fine, a member of the Florida House of Representatives, was defending his bill before a state legislative committee on Wednesday, the 12th of April. Formerly known as HB 1423, it seeks to ban drag performance in public. In a video of his speech, Fine said, If it means erasing a community because you LGBTQ people have to target children, then damn right we ought to do it. He seemingly stood by the comment later, retweeting an account that singled out the quote. Watch, uh, this is like his retweet. Watch as Repe uh, Republican uh, representative uh, vote Randy Fine gives fiery testimony on banning sexual shows for children. If it means erasing a community, I like how they call it erasing a community, not erasing trans com uh, people, erasing the LGBT community or eradicating it, erasing a community because you have to target children, then damn right, we ought to do it. Fine went on to insist that his bill is not anti-drag, but is about protecting children. If passed into law, it would penalize venues for allowing children to attend performances containing sexual conduct or lewd behavior, which is broadly defined. He noted that the bill does not mention drag, instead it says adult live performances. However, Fine implicitly linked, uh, linked the two by referring to taking issue with a drag queen storytime event happening as part of a pride festival. It's very obvious what this is meant to do. The goal is to make it so that any presentation as trans in public is sexual behavior, is seen as drag, and so, if it is done in front of children, can be punished as uh, child sexual abuse. And on top of that, the same Republicans are currently pushing to legalize uh, any form of child sexual abuse as, uh, you know, valid for the death penalty. They're actively doing it. Like, they're they're actively, they actively did it. Like, they actively made it so that uh, child sex crimes are punished by the death penalty, and now they're trying to make being trans in public a s child sex crime. That's their goal. That is the, that is the connection they're trying to make to justify the genocide legally um and if they can pass these bills they will legally be able to do a genocide they will be able to do a genocide on trans people legally like there's no like oh but there's there's like legal and and human rights protections there no there's no constitutional protection for your gender identity in the uh constitution you don't have that in in america if if the government decides to decide to say that being trans is illegal because it's like a sex act around children, then it will be so. And the police will be able to act on it. And citizens will be able to act on it legally too. That's the really scary thing. The fact that citizens will be able to act on it legally. In, in a lot of cases, the police will let citizens go for acting as uh, vigilantes on this issue. Get out of Florida if you can. The proposed legislation would give officials the authority to revoke or suspend the license of public establishments violating the rules. In his speech, he said the question was not why he wants the bill to, pro uh, to proceed, but why are there people in the world so determined to push this on children? Because if you weren't doing that, this bill wouldn't exist. Remember, this whole, like, pushing it on children thing has been a manufactured, like, controversy from the very beginning. The bill is similar to the drag ban in Tennessee, the first anti-drag bill to pass through U.S. state legislature. Having passed in February, it was set to come into effect on April 1st. However, a federal judge stopped it, or stepped in to block it on th the 31st of March, saying it was too broad. Judge Thomas Parker's ruling has since been extended until 26th of May. We're gonna watch the clip, okay? This is the clip of him saying it. This is his evil demon speech. And they're the ones that are saying this definition applies to them. Well, if it means immunity because you have to target children, when well, damn right we ought to do it. I just don't think you have to inherently say because you're lesbian or gay that you want to target children. Well, I'm going to pause it for a second just to add a little bit of, because people are still, people who agree with Contra points in this, the Contra Simpson in the YouTube chat, are still talking about how they're disappointed in me. 
Uh, you're getting insta banned, uh, honestly, because uh, you you you're literally defending the sexual harassment of a man because it's happening to a man and a woman's doing it. Like that's that's literally why you're defending it. If this had been complete like gender reverse gender switch situation, you would be calling out contrapoints for defending a man sexually harassing a woman. Yeah. Sorry, insta ban. Anyway, let's watch the clip. And they're the ones that are saying this definition applies to them. Well, if it means erasing a community because you have to target children, when well, damn right we ought to do it. I just don't think you have to inherently say because you're lesbian or gay that you want to target children. I find that statement to be offensive. By the way, the people in the audience right now that, that are reacting to this, like the, the dude who's like mouth agape at what he just said, th these are LGBT kids who've come to sit in on this and protest. I'm right we ought to do it. I just don't think you have to inherently say because you're lesbian or gay that you want to target children. I find that statement to be offensive to them. <sighs> and then we continue on with another clip. All this bill does. And so I would leave you with this question. The question. Twitter? Why do I want to run this bill? The question is not, why does the majority, I believe, on this committee going to support this bill? That is not the question. The question is, why are there people in this world so determined to push this on children? Because if you weren't doing that, this bill wouldn't exist. The The idea is that being gay or trans in the presence of, presence of children is harmful. Check this uh, guy's hard drive, FBI. Oh yeah, every single like Republican politician and and figure, uh, like who, like is this outwardly like calling trans people pedophiles? Always, every time, either gets exposed as a pedophile or ends up getting exposed as a pedophile. Has been or gets exposed every time. The amount of like oh, like loud transphobic pedophiles out there is like too many to count. It's literally like a stereotype at this point. Uh, any anyone who's like openly and loudly transphobic like this, I assume is a pedophile until proven otherwise. Like personally, like in my heart of hearts, I know this guy's a pedo, and I just like I I know to be careful around around any like loud, open, big transphobes like that. Did I turn off my camera? That's weird. Huh, I think I accidentally hit my, my like, closed webcam thing. I don't know why that happened. Anyway, like, just internally, like, in my opinion, I feel unsafe having children around transphobes because in my experience, I have seen so many of them end up being pedophiles that I just don't... I think we need to have a full and total shutdown on transphobes until we figure out what's going on. You vote for this bill... You're not standing up with the Proud Boys, something I find personally offensive, given how they feel about me. You're standing up with people who believe this stuff should be kept away from children. And with that, I ask for your favorable support. Yep, these people are f***ing demons. And if you want to see, like, the depths of how much these people hate you, and how much they, uh... They, like, consider you to be subhuman, how much they want to literally genocide you. And the funny thing is, like, they literally say they want to do a genocide. They're admitting it now. Let's uh, look at one of the, um, uh, uh, I believe it was a senator, actually, who, who did this. We're going to go ahead and watch this clip really fast that just really cements how the right sees trans people. Um, um, this is also a Florida representative as well. This is one of the guys who will also be voting yes on that bill that last guy was proposing. Looking at society today, and it's like I'm watching an X-Men movie uh, with people that, when you watch the X-Men movies or Marvel comics, it's like we have mutants living among us on planet Among Earth. us. And, you know... Some people don't like that, but that's a fact. We have people that live among us today among on us. planet Earth that are happy to display themselves as if they were mutants from another planet. This is the planet Earth where God created men, male, and women, female. I'm a proud Christian conservative Republican. 
I'm not on the fence. There is so much darkness in our world today. So much evil in our world today. And so many people who are afraid to address the evil, the dysphoria, the dysfunction. I'm not afraid to address the dysphoria or the dysfunction. The Lord rebuke you, Satan, and all of your demons and all of your imps who come and parade before us. That's right, I called you demons and imps. He's speaking to the children and the parents, the LGBT children and parents in the room that came there to protest and like stand up against this bill. He's talking to the children in the room. The Lord rebuke you, Satan, and all of your demons and all of your imps who come and parade before us. That's right, I called you demons and imps. Okay, to be fair, we are demons and imps because of Demon Mama, but like, you know. Demon Mama literally has said, like, the reason why she has that username is because it's to it's to take pride in the insult, uh, or in what conservatives think is an insult towards the LGBT community and the left, okay? And I don't really see it as an insult when the right calls, like, the left demons, you know? Because this guy thinks I'm a demon too, right? Because if you've ever heard a conservative or a Christian talk about demons, they're fucking terrified of demons. They actually think demons are real. And if you go to like an actual legit Christian, if you go into a church, I did this once when I was a teenager and I went to my friend's church because I really had a crush on her, but I very quickly realized this wasn't going anywhere. She's too Christian. It's not going to happen. But I was still friends with her and I went to her church just because I liked haha <laughs> fedora tip atheisting my my way internally through like the uh the sermon and at one point after the sermon where i'm hanging out with her and her friends and i asked them if they thought demons were real and they said yes and you know what i did chat i said hail satan take my body as a vessel for your evil deeds Allow me to unleash your hell upon this earth. I will unleash fury and hatred unlike any has ever seen. Take me now, Satan. Well, I, and I, I like did that for a minute and they got scared, dude. They got scared. I did not get invited again. You're completely right. Also, I'm pretty sure I have Christian neighbors and my window is open. Those mother get scared, okay? They get scared when you do that for real all right and and they, they they think demons are scary so it's really just them admitting they see they they are afraid they are homophobes they are transphobes they are scared of progress oh the dysphoria the dysfunction i'm not afraid to address the dysphoria or the dysfunction the lord rebuke you satan and all of your demons and all of your imps who come and par par parade before us. That's right, I called you demons and imps who come and parade before us and pretend that you are part of this world. So I I'm, I'm saying my righteous uh. indignation is stirred. I am sick and tired of this. We I'm not going to put up with it. You can test me and try to take me on, but I promise you I'll win every time. Let's all vote up on this bill. Thank these people want to kill you. They are in power in Florida and all these red states, and they want to kill you. And now that they have enough power to actually do it, they're admitting it, and they're gloating to it. They're gloating about how they are going to do everything in their power to execute, arrest, and imprison as many LGBT people as possible to a bunch of LGBT kids that went there to protest. A bunch of school kids that went there to protest. Fun fact, the first time I went to a Christian school, I had a bad nosebleed and it scared the fuck out of them. Yeah, they get, they're really f crazy. The real, like, true believers. Yeah, it's, it's literally just normalized psychopathy, like religion is. Like, when it's, like, the hardcore true believer, like, organized religion stuff, actual just societally globally normalized psychopathy there are some countries that are forcibly uh secular and do consider religion to be uh like mental illness 
<laughs> and like some criminalize the worship of it and sometimes send worshipers of uh, believers of religion to uh, mental, mental institutions. Do I agree in that? Not necessarily or agree with that, not necessarily, but I do agree with the sentiment of like shutting down uh, all forms of organized religion. Um, their tax breaks. They don't have to pay taxes um, like churches don't. And to qualify as a church, it is absurdly easy. Um, there are a lot of very bizarre tax loopholes like that. There's like rules as well. Um, like, uh, like if you, if you make like part of your house, like a museum, which literally just means legally you have to make it open for one hour a month to visitation. No one even has to visit, but as long as it is available and open for somebody to come visit as a museum you, you, for one hour a month, it counts as a museum legally. And so you can get tax benefits from that. That's an unironic thing. That's real. That's that's not fake. That's actually real. There's a lot of weird shit like that. That uh that like religious institutions can take advantage of. Um, but mostly in line with like churches having very unstrict definitions to qualify as a church and thus not having to pay any taxes whatsoever. Despite being one of the mass the most hugest revenue generating um you know structures in, the. Religion is the biggest company in the country. There really isn't anything bigger.